This video we're going to look at the distributive property with fractions. We'll do these examples and then these guys and then examples uh, three here. Okay. So let's start with example one a. Please write it down. One fifth times twenty a, or sorry, times ten a plus twenty. One fifth times ten a plus twenty. Okay. So just to understand that. Uh, please write down, but just understand that uh, we basically have 10 apples, okay, and there's these are supposed to be apples, uh, there we go, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, what have we got, 5, so 10 apples and $20 in a bag, okay, parentheses is like a bag, okay, and the one fifth is written out of the outside. So what it's trying to say is we want to get one-fifth of that bag, one-fifth of everything inside of there. That's why you have the fifth beside the parentheses, beside the bag, okay? Now if you divided 10 apples and $20 uh, by 5, or if you got a fifth of, of what's in the bag, what would you get? What would you have in the end? So one-fifth of the apples would be two apples, right? And what's one-fifth of twenty dollars? So we're splitting the everything in there by f into five parts, right? So one-fifth of twenty dollars would be four dollars. So you have two apples plus four dollars, or two A plus four, right? So, I mean, doing the distributive property with fractions is just the same thing as numbers that you just multiply one fifth by each number here. Okay. So and you can write it out. You can write one fifth you know times ten A plus one fifth times twenty. Okay. And, and it's as simple as that because you're just multiplying both things by a fifth. And you can do it in your head if you want. It's 2a plus 4. But I mean, writing it out, you might want to write 10 as 10 over 1 and 20 as 20 over 1. Okay? And you can cross cancel. 5 into 5 goes once, 5 into 10 goes twice. So we have 2, 1 times 2 over 1 times 1, that's this becomes 2 basically 2a, right? Plus. 5 into 5 goes once, 5 into 20 goes 4 times. 1 times 4 over 1 is just 4. So 2 apples plus 4 dollars, right? So let's do this one together, write it out. 1 quarter times 4b plus 16, okay? Write this one out. And what we've got are 4 bananas, 1, no, these are just really badly drawn, but uh, 4 bananas, right? And then we have $16. Uh, 16. In a bag. Okay. And outside of the bag is written the number one quarter. So it means get a quarter of what's in that bag. What would, what should the answer be? If you have four bananas and $16 in a bag and you put a quarter outside it, you're saying I want a quarter of everything in there. What's a quarter of four bananas and what's a quarter of 16? Right, so a quarter of the four bananas would just be one banana, right? One banana, right? And a quarter of the sixteen dollars would be how many dollars? Four dollars, right? So it's banana plus four dollars, B plus four, right? Okay, so if you're so again, you're just multiplying everything by a quarter. And you might need to write that out. You might need to go one quarter times 4b uh, plus one quarter times 16, right? And you might like to write this as 4b over 1 or 4 over 1, and this is 16 over 1, okay? Because then you're multiplying fractions and you can cross cancel the top with the bottom. So 4 into 4 goes once, 4 into 4 goes once. And we have 1 times 1 over 1 times 1, that's just 1 banana, right? 1b, one, one banana, right? And a quarter times 16, 4 into 4 goes once, 4 into 16, 4 times. So it's 1 times 4 over 1, that's just 4. 1b plus 4 or b plus 4, right? 
So these examples, 2 thirds times 9x minus 30. Write this one out, please. 2 thirds times 9x minus 30. And again, we're just taking the number here, the 2 thirds, and we're multiplying it by everything inside here. Okay. So we're going to get 2 thirds times 9x. You might want to write 9x over 1. That might be a nice way of doing it. Minus, minus sign comes down, 2 thirds times 30, or 30 over 1. See, if you do it that way, it'll be a little neater and we can cross cancel now. Okay, so let's write it out neatly like that and we'll cross cancel then. So 3 into 3 goes 1 time, 3 into 9 goes 3 times. What we have here is 2 times 3, that's 6. 6x six over 1 times 1. 6x over 1. You can write down 6x over 1, but that's just 6x, isn't it? Now simplify 2 thirds times 30. So 3 into 3 goes once, 3 into 30 goes 10 times. So we have 2 times 10. What's 2 times 10? 20 over 1. What's 20 over 1? 20. So we have 6x minus 20. Right? And I should have said that this is example 2b here. So let's write this one out. 3 sevenths times 7x minus 28. 3 sevenths times 7x minus 28. Please write it down. Now we'll do it together. What I want to make sure is that you write this out neatly. 3 sevenths needs to be multiplied by this and then multiplied by this because you're doing the distributive property. So you're multiplying it each way. Now, usually when we do numbers, we would just, like if that was just 3, we'd be like, okay, 3 times 7 is 21x. We just write down 21x. You just write down the answer. But because it's fractions, we have to calculate it. We don't do it in our head. we got to write in that middle step of actually writing out the 3 sevenths two times or the 2 thirds twice or whatever. And it looks a little confusing, but, but you're just, you're doing the distributive property, you're just taking an extra step because you got to work with some fractions, okay? So you know you have to take this number and multiply it by this, and then take the same number and multiply it by this. And that's why the number gets written out twice. And three sevens is going to be written out two times. But it's just because you're not doing the distributive property in your head anymore, that's all. So I want you to write out neatly, three sevens times neatly write 7x over 1. See, 7x over 1. And it just looks nice. And then the subtract sign comes down. So I just want you to write this out neatly. And then it's 3 sevenths times, what's 28 as a fraction? See, it's 28 over 1. So I really want to you to write this middle line out nice and neatly because it, it works so nice for cross-canceling, you know? So cross cancel and then see what you get. Press pause and finish off the answer. You should be able to finish it from here. Okay, so I hope you've done it. I'm gonna go over it now. Seven into seven goes one time, seven into seven goes one time. You could have got 21x over seven and that would end up being three, but this is the neater way of doing it because three times one over one is just three. So we have three and we have the x still of course as well, right? Subtract sign comes down. And again, 328 would be um, nine, uh, 75 and 9. 84, 84 divided by 7 would be um, 12. But it's easier to go 7 into 7 goes one time, 7 into 28 goes 4 times, and that gives us 3 times 4. 12 over 1. 12 over 1 is just 12. So 3x minus 12 is our answer. Okay. Now we'll look at these guys. Please write this one down. Negative 2 fifths times 15a minus 5. Negative 2 fifths times 15a minus 5. So this time in the bag we got 15 apples and a debt of $5. We're multiplying by a negative 2 fifths. A negative 2 fifths. Needs to multiply by this and multiply by this. Okay, so please write it down. So one thing we could do in our head is the signs. I mean, negative. The first one is negative times positive. So what's the sign going to be? Negative times positive gives negative, right? 
So it's negative 2 fifths. And could you write 15a as a fraction? 15a over 1. It just makes it neat for cross cancelling. Now instead of at this point you'd be like, oh my gosh, there's all these negative signs, what do I do? Here's what you do. Do the negative in your head first. This is a negative times a negative. What does a negative times a negative give? What's negative times negative? Negative times negative is plus and that's that. You're done with the signs now because it's a positive number. It's positive two-fifths times what's five as a fraction? Write five as a fraction. So the negative times negative gave positive. Two-fifths times five over one. And that's the neatest way to write this guy out. Now we can carefully cross cancel and step by step get our answer correct. Okay? So step by step finish this off. But I would like you to have it written out like this because it's real neat. It's real handy for cross cancelling. So hopefully you, you got 5 and a 5 goes once, 5 and a 15 goes 3 times. Okay? So we have a negative 2 times 3 over 1. That gives what? It's negative 6 over 1 or negative 6 and then you've got your a as well. Negative 6a. Bring down the plus sign. Cross cancel and what do we have here? Again, you can go 2 times 5 is 10 and 10 over 5 is 2. Easier though is to go 5 and 5 goes once here and here. That's 2 times 1 over 1, 2. Negative 6a plus 2. Okay, so let's go over this one together just so we can get that nice, neat first step. So write this out negative 3 eighths times 8x minus 48. Negative 3 eighths times 8x minus 48. Hope you have it written out. Now we're going to take the first step. We've got to multiply it by 8x and then we multiply it by the negative 48. Start with this negative 3 eighths times 8x. So it's a negative times a positive gives a negative. That's why I put the negative sign down. Write 8x as a fraction. 8x is 8x over 1. Okay. Now look at this. Negative times negative gives what? Negative times negative plus. So we'll do the sign first. Negative times negative is positive and that's 3 eighths times write 48 as a fraction. Write 48 as a fraction. 48 over 1. Okay. Now cross cancel and simplify your answer. So 8 into 8 goes once, 8 into 8 goes once, right? And that's a negative 3 times 1 over 1 times 1, that's negative 3. And we also have an x here, right? So negative 3, x, right? And now cross cancel here and, and get your answer. Again, you can do 3 times 48 is 150 minus 6, so it's 144. 144 divided by 8 is um, 18 or something. But it's easier to do it this way. 8 and 8 goes once. 8 and 48 goes what? 8 times tables? 8 and 48 goes how many times? How many 8s make 48? 8 and 48 goes 6 times. <coughs> so we have 3 times 6 over 1 times 1. What's that? 3 times 6 is 18 over 1, 18. So plus 18. Negative 3x plus 18.